Okay, today we're about to shim a Remington 700. Um, I've been using a Bushnell Banner 6x24 scope and I cannot seem to get enough elevation. Just a side note on that scope, I, the original one I bought for Christmas and sent back to the factory twice to have it fixed and then had to resend it again and they replaced it. The new one gets better elevation and windage adjustments but nothing like I would prefer. If I had bought to do it over again I would have just bought a Barska. It's about the quality I expected from them. But anyway, now what we're doing today to adjust for that is I'm going to shim my mounts. Um, my suggestion after burning up my scope partially trying to do this with standard mounts if you are going to shim a mount um, shim a scope make sure you go ahead and spend the money I know I hate to do it and buy Burris signature series with the inserts this is the ones well let me get in the camera no. this is the ones I'm going to use see here's the inserts next to my thumb you just slip those inside there but those will not be the inserts I use seeing that this is going to be shimmed and I'm going to double shim it to guarantee that I have enough elevation I bought the rings which cost me a total of thirty dollars I think it was or thirty six or something like that yeah it's kind of high for rings luckily the actual mounts that I have are Leopold and that's what you're about to see me mount on it's a, Weaver style Leopold mount. I got those for like a dollar at clearance like two years ago. But to shim one correctly from Burris, you also have to buy the Burris shims. And they just come in a box like this, and you you open it up. I'm doing this all one-handed, so forgive me. Open it up, you see that there are a ton of these little plastic inserts. And how Burr's system works is that you have your standard scope ring, which is right here, and inside of there fits your plastic insert. It works like a ball bearing to guarantee that you do not bar your scope or kink it or anything like that. These float and free, fl free float like a ball bearing. And it allows the scope to tilt and all that good stuff. And that's how you get to shim it. Now I believe you could honestly you know shim it the way I'm going to show you in just a second because I'm going to double shim this one and use the standard rings if your scope does not need that much shimming. If you're just try a hunter and you're going to get it into set to where you can set it one time and that's going to be the last time you ever set the scope and you don't care if you have any extra elevation this is probably no problem you could probably buy any scope and if you're slight slightly low on elevation clicks to get it centered to get it firing correctly buy you a set of these mounts put you some which you'll see in just a second I'll go ahead and get those out off the box is um beer can but I didn't use beer cans I used that coke can just cut these little shivers of aluminum can and this will go under the back mount if you need elevation you go under the back mount if your if your scopes bottoming out without you being able to get it on target you have to elevate the front so the back gives you more elevation the front gives you less elevation All right. Just a standard little tidbit. Alright, next let's try to mount this all and do this without me dropping everything. Alright, I'm going to pause it for just one second so I can get everything set up.